All right, there, Lost Live, coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Friday. It's 2.45 in the afternoon. It's April 5th, 2019. All right, new television Netflix series coming out uh, today, actually, part two. Uh, Chilling Adventures. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Ooh, t a television series. I thought I would do a video on that and br shed some light, bring some light to the darkness. Ooh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Is an American supernatural horror web television series developed by Roberto <laughs> Aguera Sacasa. Say that ten times backwards for Netflix. Based based on the Archie comic book series. Hello, <laughs> you know, as a kid, I uh, you know read Archie comics here and there, but never like this. Never like this. Based on the Archie comic book series of the same name. The series is produced by Warner Brothers TV. Yep. In association with Berlanti Productions and Archie Comics. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the series is centered on the Archie Comics. Uh, character Sabrina Spellman. Portrayed by Kernan Shipka. Also stars blah, 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 blah. Originally in development during September 2017 at the CW. The series was intended to be a companion series to Riverdale. However, in December 2017, the project was moved to Netflix with a straight-to-series order consisting of two seasons. All right, so we're into that right now. Starts today, part two. I've been studying, looking at it. I mean, even I think The View was talking about that. Yeah, The View, which I can't really stand. They were calling it dark. <laughs> Here's some of the... Uh, uh, chatter on the web last few hours. Here's one 55 minutes ago. Uh, when is The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Season 2 released? It's today. Yeah, RadioTimes.com. Uh, here's one. Netflix Chilling Adventures of Sabrina helps the Harry Potter Harry Potter influence going. TheVerge.com. Yeah. Uh, what are people saying on Twitter? New Sabrina and new Kim's convenience on Netflix and everyone in my house will be furious if I watch without them. But I kind of want to do it anyway. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're going to be watching the new season of Sabrina Netflix with the lights on. It is dark. And when I say dark, it really uh, exposes this television series, Sabrina. I'm calling it Netflix Original Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Links witchcraft out in the open. L links the witchcraft to devil worship. Yeah, links the witchcraft. And we've seen Harry Potter movies for years and years and years. There's theme parks. But I don't think there has been such a out-in-the-open, blatant uh, display advertising that witchcraft is devil worshipping. Yeah, I mean, they, I, 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 I could have went on for a lot of points, but I just put 20 points down here. Of what I observed in some of these uh, shows. And it's creepy. I mean, it is blatant, Luciferian, devil-worshipping, fallen angel-worshipping. Yeah. Uh, why would they do that? Well, let me say this. I think it's going to come back to bite them in the butt. Yeah, I think people are going to uh, see this. Some people, I think a lot of people, and they're going to say, Wow, I didn't know that devil-worshipping was linked to this. I didn't know that devil worshiping and the devil was linked to witchcraft. Oh, it's going to, I think it's I come back and bite them in the goat. <laughs> I think it will. Uh, why, why would they be so blatant? Why would this television uh, Netflix series be so blatant? Uh, why would they come out and show that witchcraft and Satanism and devil worship and the worship of the fallen angel Lucifer is connected? Because the New World Order doesn't have much time left. The fallen angel, the demon spirits, know their time is short. They know that Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is about to return, and they are just throwing things out and saying, we don't have much time, come on our side. <laughs> and like I said, that's going to come back and bite them, yeah. I think it also, what, what, what's, before I get into the 20 points here, that I, uh, or around 20 points, that I noticed in the television series here, Netflix uh, series, uh, it's going to come back to bite them for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. It, of course, it links uh, witchcraft with devil worship, which I think is... Uh, uh, I'm not going to say the show benefits it, but the Lord's going to use uh, 
their stupidity against them. <laughs> and they don't, yeah, they're, they're panicking, yeah. I also put down here, it, uh, it also exposes the New World Order. Why? Because the, the, the act, unbiblical behavior, right? You got biblical Jesus behavior. Then you have anti-Christ, anti-biblical, anti-Jesus behavior, which is called sin. Uh, people uh, uh, will realize that, that what this television series promotes, anti-biblical behavior, they're going to realize that what they do in their lives, whether it's uh, a lust, whatever kind of perverted living they're living, they're going to realize it's connected to the devil. <laughs> and the devil really shot himself in the hoof. <laughs> I think it exposes the New World Order on, 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 in different ways. It's going to show that the politicians in the U.S. and around the world and uh, religious leaders and leaders around the world are actually worshiping the devil because the New World Order operates in unbiblical behavior. And so now this Sabrina television series here, the, what do they call it? The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. People are going to realize that, wow, these leaders in, in, in religious uh, circles and, and, and political leaders, etc., et man, these guys are devil worshipers. Exactly, they are. <laughs> Wake up. Yeah. So it does expose the New World Order. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I did mention that uh, this uh, witchcraft, uh, of course, is devil worship. Witchcraft is linked to devil worship. But you could also put that all non-biblical behavior is linked to the devil. Yeah. Let me get, give you a few scriptures in here, which, by the way, these uh, witches don't like. Yeah. Okay. Um, 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen 14. It says, Paul said, I'm not surprised even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Yeah, listen, the fallen angel, demon spirits, they are not happy beings, all right? Uh, they are insecure, uh, and the behaviors that they try to cause people to do are really what they are. When you follow Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I'm not, not talking about religion, I'm talking about Jesus, His Spirit, His Holy Spirit, you have true love and peace, and the fruits of the Spirit, peace and love and joy and happiness and and self-control, this, that, and the other. But the forces of darkness, uh, they promote and push behavior in which they do. Yeah, which is really creepy. Yeah, and uh, anti-biblical behavior is really uh, the, the actions, the hearts, the spirits, the souls of these beings. That's what they do. <laughs> do you want to act like Jesus or do you want to act like the devil? Yeah. All right, so Netflix original Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, uh, 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. 14. Paul said, I'm not surprised even Satan disguises himself. He doesn't want people to know really what he's like. He wants to portray, come to my side, this, that, and the other. I'll get into that when I get into my point right here. But in reality, they are fearful, they are insecure, they are depressed, they are disgusting. <laughs> but they try to portray themselves, oh, we, we're, we're the right side. We are the right side. Oh, yeah, I was kicked out of heaven, uh, this television series says about Lucifer. Uh, wrongfully. God was wrong to kick Lucifer, Lucifer out of heaven. He was wrong. <laughs> Lucifer is really a good guy, they say. That's bull. <laughs> Why? Because you can see by his behavior and by the behavior of his children and his people that he is evil. But he tries to disguise himself. Even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. And it's portrayed in this television series. He's always trying to uh, get people to worship him. Uh, but he's creepy, 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 and disgusting. Yeah. He's not an angel of light. He's an angel of darkness. They even call him the Dark Lord. Yeah. Here's one from Micah in the Old Testament, chapter 5, verse 12. I'll put an end, Jesus said, to all witchcraft. Because witchcraft leads to destruction. Yeah. And there's no such thing as a good witch. <laughs> Here's one, Revelation 9, 21. And they did not repent of their murders or their witchcraft or their sexual immorality or their thievery or thefts. That's weird how witchcraft is thrown right in the same sentence with murderers, 
sexual immorality and thieves. Because it's the same spirit. It's the same heart. Witchcraft leads to death, sexual impurity, and stealing. Of course it does! You know, one of the... Uh, the devil in one of these programs appears to Sabrina and says, I want you to steal a pack of gum to prove your loyalty to me. <laughs> and, and, and that, you know, start the, the, the devil starts off with these small things. But it does not stay small. It is bizarre and very, very dark. Yeah. So you have witchcraft and linked to murder, sexual immorality, and uh, uh, thefts. Yeah. Look at Revelation 21.8. But cowards, here's another one. Revelation 21.8. Cowards, unbelievers, corrupt people, murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, all thrown in the same sentence. Idol worshippers and liars. It's because it's the same spirit. It's, it's, it's the same cloth. Their fate is in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. <laughs> so we shouldn't be guessing on what Jesus thinks about this, yeah, and what he says about this, yeah. But I'm telling people, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 and 14, Jesus has delivered us from the power of darkness. Now, they try to portray in the Sabrina, the chilling uh, adventures of Sabrina, they try to, to uh, fight witchcraft with witchcraft. And uh, that's not how it happens in real life. Oh, sure, there's infighting and all that. But you cannot fight the darkness without Jesus' light. <laughs> All right? <laughs> oh, there's infighting, of course. There is. Yeah. They hate each other. There's uh, insecurity. Like I said, there's jealousy. All the works of the flesh. Lust of the flesh. Pride of life everywhere. In witchcraft and in Satanism and Luciferian worship and in devil worship and in religious circles around the world. Sure. Because witchcraft is a religion. Uh, in my books. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the only thing that can get you out of your uh, darkness is Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Jesus, wash my sins away, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Jesus, Colossians 1.13, delivers us from the power of darkness. Yeah. And they try to cast spells on each other and fight each other. And there is cast, uh, spell casting, and they are infighting. But they're all bound. They're all under the kingdom of darkness. You can't be translated into protection or out of that kingdom except through Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that has to be reminded. Uh, 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 you know, reminded. Or, or people be, uh, people be, uh, being uh, uh, let and given that information. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter tries to fight other wicked wizards. No, 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 no. Although they fight. Sure they do. But you're not free unless Jesus Christ. Not Catholicism. Not Mormonism. All right. Not Jehovah Witnesses. Not Jesus. All right. You don't need a religion, and religion can't save you. Yeah, you must be born again, have your sins washed away. Jesus delivers us from the power of darkness, Colossians 1.30. And he translates us into a new kingdom, the kingdom of Jesus, of God's dear Son. Verse 14, in whom we have rescuing redemption through his blood. A lot of blood in the, in the Sabrina television network, uh, 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 network series here. Uh, that's because the devil always mimics uh, the kingdom of God. Yeah, but we have redemption, rescuing through Jesus' blood, his sacrifice, the forgiveness of sins. It all starts with the forgiveness of sins. All right, so here's some of my points right here. <laughs> Let me see if I can get to all of them. Uh, number one, all right, here's, uh, I just started to write down uh, on my legal pad of paper here some of the things that I uh, thought of and uh, really I, I just thought, wow, there were blatant devil-worshipping, satanic things in this series, and I want to point them out. <coughs> All right, number one. Uh, the witches are constantly praising Satan. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because it's so bizarre. I mean, they don't just do it behind the scenes and they're chanting, you can't hear them. They're always saying, praise Satan. What the? Like I said, they're out in the open, they're brazen about this stuff because the devil knows he has a short time. Yeah. All the witches are constantly saying, praise Satan. As Christians should walk around saying, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus, praise Jesus. But they're walking around saying, praise Satan. The witches are saying, praise Satan. <laughs> and I'm entitling this, uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina links witchcraft to devil worship. Yeah, out in the open blatant, all the witches are praising Satan. Uh, the witches are praising Satan. <laughs> wow. So I'm actually glad that this is being exposed because you could say this about the, the Sabrina show. 
uh, and what these witches, and you could see this about Harry Potter and all the other television, uh, you know, uh, series and shows about witches and magic. Now, uh, what about the Good Witch television series? Same thing, Bob. All right, all witches in uh, in this television series. Sabrina, <coughs> excuse me, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina are praising Satan out in the open, which they really do, anyways. That's number one. Wow, praising Satan. That is bizarre. Yeah. Number two, they always call the devil the Dark Lord. <clears throat> See, there's always an allegiance, instead of Jesus, to the forces of darkness, to the fallen angel Lucifer. And they call him all the time, our Dark Lord, our Dark Lord, which is the opposite, because you get born again by bowing your knee to Jesus. Jesus is Lord, yeah. But not here. The witches call the devil the Dark Lord, their Lord. Freaky. I'm going to go quickly because I have so many. Uh, in their school, it says a statue, a statue of Baphomet, which is the uh, 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 the goat, the goat-headed person, which represents the devil, fallen angel Lucifer. The statue of Baphomet, which is totally satanic, is sitting in their school, in their satanic school, right? And it's weird because they have all these little children around the statue of Baphomet, also little children statues. <clears throat> and you wonder where pedophilia comes from? Baphomet, the fallen angel Lucifer, sure. Three, uh, <clears throat> they also, well, they expose the devil, uh, if people can uh, uh, perceive it or pick it up, uh, expose the devil because they call the devil the great deceiver. They call him in the show the great deceiver. <laughs> Freaky! Which he is, right? And the people that serve him are deceived. Yeah, wow, hello. <clears throat> Uh, here's five. Witches take part in cannibalism. They literally sacrifice people and eat their flesh. I mean, it's it's it's, it's gory. Now, Sabrina, in one of the programs, she goes, oh, I can't stand this, and blah, blah, blah. She wants to change it. Listen, you can't change witchcraft by staying in witchcraft. you gotta give, you, you got to give your life to Jesus and get out of it. Come out of her, my people, the Bible says. Yeah, cannibalism, all in the witchcraft, which is true, by the way. Uh, number six, uh, they live by the motto, do what thou wilt. Now, if you've studied Satanism or the Church of Satan or whatever, <clears throat> uh, online or over the years through books, that is what they believe. Instead of obeying God's commandments and the, and the Ten Commandments, uh, no, their motto in, in this te television series is uh, Luciferian, devil-worshipping, uh, satanic, and they, uh, they keep on saying, do what thou wilt. That's, that's the law of Satanism and witchcraft. And devil work. Do what, do what you want. Wow. Wow. You see how that can be a problem? If everybody does what they want on the earth, the earth would fall into chaos. Of course it does. It's crazy. And that's another blatant uh, link. Which, which, uh, link, link, a link linking witchcraft to devil worship. They, they keep on saying, do what thou wilt. That's their law. No, no, the Bible says love Jesus with everything, with your spirit, soul, and body, and love your neighbor as yourself. Not do what thou wilt. Go out and kill your neighbor and take his house and take his stuff. See how idiotic, really, the devil's, and the, uh, the, devil, the devil's kingdom and the new world order is? Yeah, do what thou wilt. That was number six. Number seven, <clears throat> I could have put this in any order. Uh, the witches all place their names in the book of the beast in blood. Yeah, the whole big thing of uh, Sabrina in, the, in part one was that she never put her name in blood in the Book of the Beast. Now we know this is a copycat uh, ritual from Christians having their names in the Book of Life, the Book of the Lamb. But there is the Book of the Beast. And in this television series, the witches, uh, by their own blood, sign their names in the Book of the Devil, the Book of the Beast which is kind of an interesting name because that's the name of the Antichrist and the false prophet. Yeah. And the computer system in the last days, which we all know as the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast. Yeah. But these witches put their name in blood, in their own blood, in the book of the beast. Freaky, but true. Uh, number eight, they portrayed Lucifer, the fallen angel Lucifer, as being wronged by God. Oh, poor Lucifer. God was unjust. Lucifer is just. And that's totally a baloney. The devil had his chance in heaven. He led a rebellion by sin and pride. And uh, he wanted to destroy heaven and take over. And God just kicked him out. Get out of here. 
I don't want your destruction here. Get and and the devil's punishment was to be thrown to this earth to be put under the feet of humans as his punishment because of his pride. So when you take your authority in the name of Jesus over evil spirits, in your prayers, in your actions, your lifestyle, that's his punishment. But they don't portray him like that. They portray Lucifer as being wronged by God. That's what the New World Order is all about. Yeah, they're told Lucifer is, you know, is great. And they keep on calling, have verse, uh, uh, I say verse 9, uh, point 9. They're always ca calling Jesus or God the Father or God the Holy Spirit. They're calling uh, the Trinity the false God. They say, well, the false God says this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it, out in the open, they call Jesus the false God. They call the Holy Spirit the false God. They, they call God the Father the false God. Wow. Ten. Uh, here's what Lucifer wants his followers out in the open. It's in, in, in the television series. Lucifer in the television series wants his followers to join him at his throne in the fires of Gehenna or hell. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with that picture? Well, number one, it's not heaven. Number two, it's in hell. Number three, it's full of fire. Number four, the guy's a doofus. And it join the devil at his throne in hell. With what in, in fire? Are you out of your mind? But they're out in the open about it. Oh, people might not believe in hell, but the devil believes in hell. Yeah, and he has a throne. And by the way, if you ever seen my videos on that, I've been to hell several times. The Lord's taken me there. And there is an ugly throne down there. Yeah, it's gross. All right, eleven. Uh, they call Lucifer the Morning Star over and over. This is his Old Testament name. And they're always calling uh, Lucifer the morning star. And they're always trying to uh, make him, uh, they exalt him in the television series. And every time he shows up, the, the dark lord shows up. He's like Baphomet. He's like a walking goat on two legs. <laughs> a black goat. <laughs> Why a goat? Well, goats are buttheads, right? And uh, Jesus said, and, uh, well, Jesus compares uh, Christians and not our backslidden Christians are sinners. In, in, uh, in two ways. The Christians, Jesus com compares them to uh, uh, lambs, sheep, his sheep. And he compares those who don't, who don't want to do what he wants, uh, the rebellious people on the earth, as goats. So the devil has taken that as, uh, you know, as his symbol. Baphomet, the goat god. Yeah. The, yeah. So every time the, the devil shows up, he's this walking goat. <laughs> Black goat. <laughs> he is creepy. He is creepy, and he's creepy. Who would want to serve that goat head? <laughs> that butt head. <laughs> All right, 12. Uh, in their uh, witch's school, kind of like a Harry Potter school, they, they, they produce a play, right? A show where Sabrina plays Lilith, which they say is, is Adam's other wife. So in the, in the school, they produce a play, a show, where Sabrina plays Lilith, a wife of Adam, who pledges allegiance to Lucifer, bowing before him on stage. It's creepy. Right in the open. I mean, wow. Hello. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina? I'd say that, yeah. Well, it just it shows this is what the devil wants. The devil wants people to bow down and worship it. They, they show it plainly in this play. And over and over, of course. And they have this girl uh, uh, played by Sabrina in the show called Lilith, and, and Sabrina bows to, Lu uh, to Lucifer. The goat head. Uh, it's, it's creepy. It's creepy! Bowing before him on the stage and really uh, confessing and uh, getting, uh, well, just pledging allegiance on her knees, bowing before the, the devil. And they show the devil losing his wings and getting thrown to the earth. And oh, poor little devil. No, creepy little devil. Yeah. Okay, 13. Constantly pushing the agenda of lust, sex, orgies, homosexuality, transgenderism. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of the, one of the big uh, themes of, the, of Sabrina, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, is their constant push uh, in anti-biblical behavior. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just tolerated. That's great. You don't do what you want because that, do what thou wilt. Yeah, they're pushing that. This is the this is one of the this is the one of the tenets. This is one of the this is the foundation of the new world order. 
<laughs> but when you really get into the New World Order and you really get involved with the darkness, you realize that you are a slave. They get the, the elitists, the fallen angels get everything. You get nothing. You're a slave. And they're mean. Yeah. Whereas Jesus sacrifices himself for everybody and shares his kingdom with everybody else. Totally opposite. Freaky! Anyways, they constantly push the agenda of lust, sex, orgies, homosexuality, transgenderism. 14, uh, which I thought is kind of interesting too. Uh, vengeance, not love, is encouraged and practiced. Well, because the forces of darkness, they don't have love. God is love. So the opposite of love is the fallen angels and demon spirits and witchcraft, etc., etc. So they're constantly fighting and uh, killing one another. Yeah, and killing other people. Vengeance, not love, is encouraged and practiced in witchcraft in the show. 15, Lucifer is insecure and mean to his followers. Yes, he is. 16, Lucifer tries to copycat God's creation and perverts it. Yeah, you can see it is always a, uh, a twisted copycat mirror image. It's not a blurred image. It's really a deceptive image. The devil always tries to copycat Jesus' kingdom. They even meet in a old uh, uh, abandoned church. Uh, they live in houses with upside down crosses. Right? Everything is the opposite of Jesus' kingdom. And it, it's creepy. Because really the witches are scared of the devil. But in a, in, a, in a creepy way. But when you serve Jesus, you fear God because he's all powerful. But you love him. You love him because he's good. Yeah. Wow. So in this uh, television series, Lucer, oh, Lucifer, Lu Lucer, yeah, Lucer. Lucifer tries to copycat God's creation and perverts it, of course. 17, uh, there's a common saying they use in, in, the, in, the, in the telecast. Uh, I, I, I heard it just recently. You know how you'd say, let's get the heck out of here? They'd use the word hell instead. But in the television series, they'd say, Let, let's get the heaven out of here. Again, the opposite, the perversion. Of that which is right. Yeah, so, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heaven out of here. I thought that was creepy. 18. <clears throat> Casting spells is glamorized. Right? Encouraged to cast spells rather than praying. I tell people, listen, the Bible says when you're in trouble, when you're attacked, pray. Cast your cares upon the Lord. Talk to him. Ask for his help. Ask for his help. Ask and you shall receive. The, you know, they portray Sabrina and the witches are always chanting, always casting spells, making potions. They omit asking God. So they're on their own, which is really sad because you're depending on a fallen angel to help you and demon spirits. It's creepy Ugh, for protection. They don't need their protection because they want to bring you to hell. That's their ultimate goal. I thought this was creepy as well. 19 demon spirits. Uh are called familiars and they take the form of cats or birds uh, or wolves etc or mice demon spirits called familiars are made uh, pets for the witches yeah now the bible talks about familiar spirits yeah and these spirits they hang around uh, generation after generation picking up knowledge like in kind of a weird form of an internet <laughs> before the internet right so these spirits are who knows how old ancient spirits and they give help and guidance uh, to the witches, which I think is, you know, and, but you get to see that before the uh, cats show up or the birds show up or the mice show up as their pets, they show you that these pets are really demons. It's really eye-opening. It's like, what? And, and it is. But they're so blatant about it. Demon spirits called familiars are made pets for the witches. Creepy. And Sabrina has a black cat. But really, but really it's a demon spirit. Yeah. And I'll throw this one in here too. Uh, I thought this was very, very interesting. I'm, I'm going to stop at this one just for time's sake because I'm here at 30 minutes. Uh, 20, only real, it says the only real Christian is one of Sabrina's friends. It's a black girl uh, who is uh, a Bible-believing Christian. But it's strange because the only real Christian 
is portrayed as weak and lusty. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean weak? Well, she, the witches somehow have cursed her and her family with blindness. Blindness that runs in her family. Her grandmother had it. Now she has it. And uh, I thought, you know, that's, 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 that's wrong. That's evil. The demons don't like Christians. The only true resistance against evil on this earth is the born-again, spirit-filled people on the, on the earth that have Jesus operating in their lives. So, of course, they're going to portray a Christian, the only real Christian, uh, the prominent Christian in this uh, series here, as cursed. The witches curse her, and she's got blindness, and she's going, her grandma, you know, uh, was went blind, and... And uh, now the young girl, uh, her, her Sabrina's friend, Christian, uh, is now uh, gone blind. And uh, she, the, the Christian mentions that she lost her virginity. The Christian, the Christian girl, teenage girl, uh, says that she lost her virginity at Bible camp. So I thought that's creepy. The only real Christian is portrayed as weak and lusty, cursed with blindness, and loses her virginity at Bible camp. <laughs> So I thought, and I could go on and on, but I thought, what? Netflix original Chilling Adventures of Sabrina links witchcraft to devil worship. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Yep. So I'm, I, am I encouraging people to watch it? No. Uh, why? Because why? Why? I mean, if you watch it, are you going to go to hell? No. Uh, it is eye-opening. It is uh, very dark. You know, it's, it's strange because there's not uh, really any sexual scenes, even though they are kissing and there's guys kissing guys and you can see a bra once in a while, this, that, and the other. Uh, but it's, it's, I didn't see open, uh, you know, nudity. Uh, I saw people, maybe they had their uh, undergarments on, whatever. Uh, but I've, I've never seen there might be some in the, in the future uh, episodes, but I didn't see any. But they definitely promote lust, and they talk about it all the time. Lust and orgies and this, that, and the other. And uh, they do show guys getting on top of guys, but that then they go to another scene, this, that, and the other. Yeah. So without uh, really taking all their clothes off, they sh it is it is it, how could how could it be lusty and not have, uh, you know, uh, nakedness. <laughs> it is. <laughs> they talk about it. Uh, they glorify it. They operate in it. But there's uh, very little, if any, that I've seen. Uh, any kind of nudity. You might see uh, a girl changing in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the bathroom, but you, just to her, her bra. Uh, you don't see her nude at all. So I thought that is very interesting. Uh, why? Probably, probably because they want to uh, do it like this so they can actually spread it to more people. And the parents, uh, they're hoping the parents will just say, well, it's just, it's just make-believe Harry Potter stuff, right? Because, you know, I've never seen any real nudity in it. They talk about it. And, of course, their conversations are very lustful. Uh, and they, uh, but I think they're trying to have a wider audience. And I do think it is a, I do think witches were involved in making this 100%. I think the New World Order definitely made this uh, to promote the New World Order, the fallen angel Lucifer. Uh, basically, Lucifer coming out of the closet. Lucifer coming out of the closet, the fallen angel coming, uh, Lucifer coming out of the closet, the devil coming out of the closet trying to get people blatantly to serve him uh, because he's in a panic that his time is short. All right, Jesus Christ is about to come back. Listen, your only, the only solution is to get born again, spirit filled, have your sins washed away, and stay in Jesus. Stay with Jesus. Jesus washed my sins away, filled with the Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible, read it, and do it. And then I have thousands and thousands and thousands of videos that I've done personally on my website linked that you can uh, get this information and go forward. I try to get people as strong as possible, as fast as possible, so they can fight against evil and win in the mighty name of Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, by the Word of God, uh, and living holy, right? The devil wants you to live unholy so he can inhabit and destroy your life. 
when you live holy for Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit enables you to have armor against the forces of darkness. Your life will be better with Jesus, not religion, but with Jesus, rather than the fallen angels and demon spirits. I tell you, there's no such thing as a good witch. All right, DarylLawsonLive.com or DarylLawson.com is my website. Pass this information on to other people. Uh, share the information. Pass it on to everybody that you know so that they can be warned uh, and take the appropriate measures, the protection of Jesus to help them in these last days. Because there is a fight for your spirit, soul, and body in these last days. Don't give in to the force of darkness. People say, I don't even believe in the Lord. I don't want anything to do with religion. Well, by, by default, you're already in the kingdom of darkness. If you don't give your life to Jesus and get in the Bible and read it and do it, you're all, by default, you're automatically in the kingdom of darkness. Don't be that knucklehead. All right? Dear Lost Live, something up. I'm out of here. 35 minutes. Pass the video to other people. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. I love you. DearLawsonLive.com. Bye for now.